All right, torture talk, man. All right, so I want to do a real quick video of uh, what Joe Biden said. Before I get into that, like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what I'm saying? Also, too, if you want to donate to the page, Cash App is in the description. So if you want to donate, hit me up. You know what I mean? I could keep bringing y'all some good content from all over the world. Right now, and I'm in DR. Beautiful DR, you know, beaches of DR. So, anyway, let's get into the, what Joe Biden said about uh, black people not being uh, diverse, which I think is uh, very, very, very disrespectful to the black community. Uh, but this isn't the first time Joe Biden has said something that was kind of like, I ain't gonna say kind of, but very racial, uh, racially, racial, you know what I'm saying? very racial um and i just seem like it just seems to me like uh like the black community kind of like i don't know if they're used to the democrats doing these certain things or they just giving giving him a pass on this put this back you know, this shit's pretty heavy giving him a pass on these things but uh seems to me like um we need to start stepping up saying saying some stuff that actually uh you know, can change, change things because it it, it just doesn't, it just doesn't seem like the Black Lives Matter organization is is really doing anything for the Black community um, by by you know denouncing stuff like that that he said. Now I'm gonna go on record and say that uh, what he said was very disrespectful. So let's get into what he said. So he said that uh, unlike the uh, African American community, uh, Latinos are, are diverse. You know what I'm saying? But here's my thing, right? And here's what bothers me about that. And this is how I know that Joe Biden is racist. Or he just doesn't like black people as a whole. Whether he's racist or not, that's a different story. But if you don't like a race, I guess you're racist, but maybe he just doesn't like black people. So, you know, so. You could say he's racist, or you could just say he doesn't like black people. Either way, I don't think he's really too keen. And you know what? I might even say this. I might even say that it's not even, it's not probably not even the fact that Joe Biden is racist. It's the fact that they feel like black people are in a box and that we are just one, one vote. We don't have no diversity. We don't have no, no, uh, you know, anything that stands out because he feels as though that for him to capture the Latino vote, there's different denominations of Latinos. So he, he, he's basically saying there's Colombians, there's, there's uh, Mexicans, you know, all types. But he's not really thinking about when it comes to, when it comes to blacks, there's much more, blacks are very diverse too as well. So, but him saying that kind of reminds me of the Democrats and how they feel like we owe them something, you know, as a, uh, as a whole. I feel like they feel like we owe them, we owe them our vote because of what they did for us, as far as welfare, as far as uh, anything that the Democrats felt like. We took care of y'all, so now y'all have to pay us back. And that's how I feel about the Democratic Party. I think they look at black people as one whole entity and that's it doesn't matter you know what i'm saying and him saying that and then he said he said he said something else to the guy he said oh what you want what you want coke that's like me asking you on coke and it's like these things to me it's very wild you know what i'm saying it's very wild when people say things like oh well trump says trump called african country a shithole of a country you know what i'm saying and it, 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 that makes him racist but I know Africans that think that that country is a shithole of a country. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's just, it's just, it's disgusting to see that people defend Joe Biden at this point. You know what I'm saying? I just think that he has too many moments where he basically is throwing black, the black, black people straight under a steamroll. I mean, from from him, from him saying you ain't black if you don't vote for uh, for Joe, which is super disrespectful. Because now you're telling me that anybody that's conservative, anybody that's that's 
basically a Republican or anybody that has a different opinion of the Democrats, you're basically telling me that I'm not black. So you're basically saying I'm a coon or you're basically calling me uh, anything outside of being black. So I don't understand how we don't say anything about these things. And it's like the media, the mainstream media to me, kind of like they just they just wash over this stuff. And it's like, when are y'all gonna, uh, I ain't gonna say the mainstream media because the mainstream media works for Democrats. I'm gonna say, when, it, when, are, when are we gonna hold the mainstream media accountable for these things? Because it should, it should not be that he gets to say these things and they don't make these the headlines. You know what I'm saying? But Trump says something and they take he, what he says out of context and just what's in it. That wasn't out of context. That was straight racism. I'm sorry. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. Uh, like I said, Cash App is in the description. If you want to donate to the page, you can. If you don't want to, it's okay too. You know what I mean? But you want to keep seeing good content, keep doing reviews, keep doing um, views on music, keep doing reviews on everything, and keep talking about politics. I will keep doing that too and give you my opinion on it. So, Torture talk. You know what it is.